Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Colleague Glover, also known as ColecoVision, and um, I want to welcome you to this tutorial. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I recently did a teleseminar, and um, I had a Q&A session towards the end. And somebody had a very good question for me, so I thought I'd address it in this tutorial. Somebody asked me, uh, colleague, how can I train my ear to better hear things like EQ and and all that so that um I can tell what the frequencies are and and what I need to do. And so um I came up with a little solution that I think uh you guys could try as an experiment. This is just for practice, but um I want you to notice up here, um, I have a master fader over here that everything is going through. I'm on Pro Tools. And what I did, what I basically told them to do is put three EQs on the master fader. And that's what I did here. And here's what I did and why I did it. These three EQs are actually going to be split up for different bands to uh, highlight the lows, the mids, in the highs that's uh how we're going to take and study now i have a track here that was submitted by a subscriber and um one of my customers and he wanted me to help him he's you know he's getting going in the music industry and uh he wanted me to help him along and try to uh make this a little bit better help sh show him how to polish it up how to mix it and everything so i'm going to use uh, his track as an example he gave me this to be a case study this um stereo master fader has three eqs on it and they're um split up into the three uh, frequencies to deal with low mids and highs so i'm gonna play this track right now to just kind of get your ear into it and i want you to also notice okay so there, this track is not mixed or anything like this. All of the faders are at zero. This is how it came in to me. So this is the uh, level that I guess it was recorded at or whatever. And um, there's no real balance here yet. We're not going to worry about that. We're not listening for that. We just want to listen to some of the uh, tones from the EQ. So let me play this real quick. Okay, so I'm going to um, just hit this one EQ here, and this is going to be showing, okay, I want you to notice over here, see we have this little, this is a high pass filter, that means it'll pass the highs and filter off the lows, so check it out when I take it out of bypass. You see all the lows are gone and we have nothing but highs here. Now we can just kind of study what's going on in this track. Because you can take a listen, see what's happening with the uh, all the high stuff. You can hear the hi-hat, the claps, uh, snares, cymbals, the synthesizer. And there's a kick drum here. You hear all those high sounds, so we can hear what's going on there. Okay, so let's uh let's switch to one of the other ones. Let's put it back on bass. Bypass. Now let's go to the see what's on the low. Check it out. Now see we could study what's going on with the low. You can hear that kick drum, what's going on. Here's the kick drums over here. And the bass. And you can hear those chords with the low parts of the chords that are still there. So you can kind of hear where there's mud at in this low area. You hear it kind of, hear it kind of washing out and roaming around a lot. 